What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Mackenzie and I'm super stoked to have you. Make sure you subscribe to stick around for more. I am partnering with Romwe today for a super exciting video. Instead of doing a typical haul, which I usually do, and just pick out some pieces that I'm loving and share them with you, I'm doing a little something different today. I actually chose a theme when choosing my items from Romwe and I decided that after so many DMs, questions, comments, messages from you guys asking what do you wear to a college party? I decided that would be the perfect thing to haul today. So in today's haul, I have tons of pieces that are perfect if you're looking for something affordable, something easy to wear to a college party. A lot of these would work too if you're in high school and you have spirit week theme days because I basically stuck to some specific themes. We have a lot of theme parties here, neon, Hawaiian, USA, a bunch of different other things that I have to share with you guys today. So I'm going to be hauling some pieces that are great for you to wear when you're going out whether you're in college high school post-grad whatever and I'm going to be styling some of the outfits and sharing how I would wear these pieces and what I would wear them for so I'm super pumped for this video I hope you guys enjoy and that you like seeing something a little bit different I will leave links to everything in the description bar below and I will be styling some of these outfits over on my blog stylebymckens.com so make sure to check that out when you're done watching here without further ado let's hop right on in so I do want to start by saying that I go to Kent State University in Kent Ohio and we do not like wear jackets when we go out we don't wear long Long sleeves sweaters like that is totally not the vibe here it's basically bodysuit and jeans like tank top and jeans sneakers booties whatever regardless of what the temperature is outside so it could be five degrees outside and all this stuff goes so I just want to put that out there so starting off with Hawaiian slash beach that's like one of our most popular themes here at school because it's super easy a lot of people will go and grab like lays hula skirts coconut bras stuff like that but it's always nice to have a couple things around your house that you can just like throw on and go out in so I'm gonna start off with those things so I actually grabbed two bathing suits and I want to start by saying neither of these bathing suits I would get to wear as like a bathing suit to the beach I grabbed these specifically because I thought that they would work great for going out I know it seems kind of weird to wear a bathing suit out when you think about it but when I first got to school I had a couple of one pieces with me because I was like, oh, maybe I'll go swimming here. And I actually wore the one pieces just as bodysuits with like denim shorts and stuff when I first got here. And it worked great. No one even knew that I was wearing a bathing suit. And I was like, this is so smart. But I was like, you know what? I want to try it out with a two piece. Obviously, you're not going to go walking around in like a triangle bikini top. But I found two bathing suits that were like tankini cropped versions. And I was like, this would look so cute as a crop top for one of these like for a party and this first bathing suit looks like this it's like a long sleeve version that zips all the way up what I thought was so fun about this is that you can kind of decide how revealing it is and that's what's fun about it is that it's college so you can unzip it show a little boob or you don't have to if you don't want to like I said it is long sleeve the back is mesh and this is super comfortable what's so great about wearing a bathing suit out is that there's built-in cups in it obviously so you don't have to worry about a sticky bra nipple petals band-aids whatever like you can literally just wear your bathing suit and be like okay I'm here so the top on this is super cute the sleeves are a little bit short on me and the bottoms holy cow my mom would kill me if I ever wore these out I will never wear these but they're very very tiny like I said I would never wear this as an actual bathing suit just because I'm not a long sleeve kind of girl to the beach but for this purpose I think it's awesome I've actually had my eyes on this bathing suit forever now and I finally decided to pick it up. The bottoms are huge. I got a size small in this bathing suit and I, literally like these bottoms are so big. They're very full coverage and they're super high waisted. They're just like very wide and long on me so I'll never be wearing this bathing suit um, together. But the top is really cute. I picked this up because it was more of a tankini style so again it could fly as a crop top just with jeans and white sneakers for a going out look. It's got like a high neck to it and then there's like a little cutout along the bottom. You'll see it better when I try it on for this look. But again a racer back built in cups. Great for the occasion. So the first thing I grabbed is actually a shirt from the men's section. This is a short sleeve collared shirt, just a Hawaiian shirt. Someone is literally always texting in a group text being like, does anyone have a Hawaiian shirt I can borrow? I finally wanted to grab one of my own. This one is polyester, which I'm not in love with the material, but you know, it is what it is. And for just a night out, it really doesn't matter. I loved the yellow and this one just has really cute palm trees and like little drinks on it, I think. They're like 
not really, I don't know what it is, but it's super, super cute and perfect for the occasion. I grabbed this pink top because this is like the perfect kind of thing to wear with a Hawaiian shirt. If you leave the Hawaiian shirt open and wear like a little cute tank top underneath that's like pretty typical for college this one is really cute it's like a light pink eyelet lace it's really plunging and this is definitely on the wider side so I would recommend sizing down if you grab this super super stretchy and the straps are very adjustable I'm gonna move on with neon. I swear to God, there's something neon happening here like every single week and I rewear the same like neon shirt all the time. So I decided that for this video and for like actual purpose, I needed to pick up some new neon stuff. So there's a lot of neon, but I think neon's fun. It's a cool theme and a lot of fraternities will have the kind of lights in the basement that like make your clothes like glow. So it's always cool to have neon. The first thing I grabbed is this ribbed top. It's got like a little mock neck to it which is super cute and it's just a really simple fit to it this is a high neck so like I said it's not super revealing but it's cropped so you can show a little bit of your stomach I thought that top would just look so cute with these neon pants for like a full-on neon moment these are like windbreaker type pants these are great to wear to school out if you don't want to wear jeans I know that jeans is kind of like jeans in a bodysuit but with a crop top I think that like windbreaker pants like this are super fun especially for a theme these are just a neon green None of the neon stuff is showing up as bright on camera as it is in person, but they've got a little white stripe down the sides. These are definitely on the thinner side. You would have to wear nude underwear with that, so if you're not cool with that, don't buy these. They're 97% polyester, 3% spandex. Again, just a great little party pants, and if your school is someone that darties a lot, this is the kind of pant to wear to that. Let's talk about latex. I have this skirt in like quite possibly every color. I have it in neon pink, I have it in black, I have it in red, and someone is always borrowing this skirt from me. It is super fun to wear latex out. We don't wear skirts as much now because it's obviously like colder out. It's like 20 degrees when I go out at night. But in the beginning of the year, I was wearing a skirt like at least once a week just because I think they're fun and it's really easy to pair all black with one. A great skirt for a neon theme and just like latex in general is a cool thing to wear. I always get so many compliments when I wear it out. These definitely run small, so if you are in between sizes, go up. I thought this little ringer tee was just the cutest thing ever. It's super cropped when I hold it up. It's just black with neon green piping along the edges. And I think this is just the cutest little thing. The perfect crop top to wear out with one of those pairs of windbreaker pants that I'm sharing. Or just with black jeans if you wanted an all black look. Just for... These cargo pants I just had to pick up because again, I thought they'd be perfect for a theme night. They're so fun. You can totally get away with stuff like this, especially because Kent is such a big fashion school. You can get away with like crazy, ridiculous things like this. These pants have got neon pink, orange, and green in them with a little bit of black. Cargo pants, like I said, are super big. They're more of like a jogger style. They're definitely on the wider side in the legs, but that's still fun. They've got pockets on the side and a little drawstring waist. This is a real drawstring, which is really nice. So if you have a tiny waist like me, no worries. You can cinch it. And pockets. Pockets will become your best friend in college. When you go out, the more pockets, the better. If you have pants with them, I promise you will be using them just to hold your ID, your phone, keys, stuff like that. It's always great to have pockets in your pants. USA slash Olympics is another theme that happens here often, so I picked up a one top. I haven't tried this on yet, but it does look super large and very, very thin. Probably a nude sticky bra is the only thing you're going to get away with with this little tube top, but just says USA on it with an American flag, jeans and white sneakers, and there you go. You're all done up. You just need a fun little accessory, and you look good to go. I had to grab something cow print. We've never had like a country themed party here, at least that I've been to, but my date party for my sorority was 
country and I just love cow print like I would wear it every day if I could anyways I'm a country girl at heart everyone so I picked up this bodysuit it's super cute it's got like kind of built-in cups to it like it wants to look like built-in cups but there's no wire in it or anything this bodysuit is like the perfect length on me it's about 27 inches in length that's my typical bodysuit size it's got just regular straps in the back most Romwe bodysuits are full coverage this one's on the cheekier side which is nice and it does snap at the bottom which which makes it easy to go to the bathroom in. So the next few things don't really fit into a theme, they're just kind of things that you could wear when going out in college. So I wanted to try the like little matching sets that Romwe puts together for you. Like you don't have to buy the pieces separately, they both come together. This black mock neck top is perfect. I'll actually wear this a lot. I'm sure this is like a great basic to have, even just for like going to class to wear with jeans and boots. Layer sweater over top, layer graphic tee over top. This is like a great basic to have. But it came with these camo pants. Cam is another theme that we actually do have here the waist on these is like the perfect size for me super flattering it hits you at your smallest point which is always a plus jogger style and again more cargo pants so they do have lots of pockets which is always a plus and this one does not have like a real drawstring it's just a fake drawstring but it is an elastic waist so I find that most times with an elastic waist you are on the safe side as far as things fitting you right I grabbed another set and I was actually really bummed about this one just because the top is huge. It's like a one shoulder cottony material. One shoulder is like one of my biggest tips when choosing things to wear out. You can never go wrong with something one shoulder off the shoulder. It's just easy, it's fun, it's different, unique, you know, and it's really easy to style a one shoulder top. Just throw it on with jeans and a fun belt and booties and there you go, you got a whole outfit. So that top came with these checkered pants. I think the pants are really cool. I like that they're this like windbreaker -y material. These do not have pockets in them, which is like on the sides. They do have like regular pockets, but no pockets along the side, which is kind of a bummer. Probably will never wear this with the white shirt it came with, but with a black bodysuit, could be good. Well, the first bodysuit that I got is this mock neck leopard one. I probably wouldn't wear this to like a fraternity party or anything just because I wouldn't really wear something long sleeve. They'd get so hot in one of those basements that you really don't want to wear a long sleeve. This is like the weirdest material polyester and spandex it feels like a swimsuit almost and it's long sleeve I probably like I said will not be wearing this out to a party but with a graphic tee layered over top um, just with black jeans for class like that's a cute look this white bodysuit I was so excited about and then I was trying it on and I broke it because um, it runs very very small so I actually have this bodysuit in the black version and it's amazing all of my roommates have borrowed it it's definitely a little scandalous a little out there the back looks like this but the strap like popped off here it's basically an all open back and it crosses a bunch of different times but the straps on this one like are not stretchy they're like it's like actual string it's not stretchy string so I couldn't fit it over me so if you take away one thing from this video, purchase something, add something to your wish list, your cart, whatever, I hope it is this bodysuit because it is amazing. I know it looks weird when I hold it up right now, but let me explain. So Romwe came out with a romper last summer that was basically just like this top, but in romper version. And I got it in three colors because it was that good. And then they came out with a jumpsuit. I have the jumpsuit as well. And they finally came out with the in bodysuit version. I pray to God that they come out with this bodysuit in 17 more colors because I will buy it in every single one with my own money because that is how much I love love the fit of this so basically what you do is you put on like the bottom of the bodysuit which is like underwear obviously it is full coverage no snaps which kind of stinks because if you have to go to the bathroom you have to like get fully out of this but it's so good that you will want this so then there's two long strips of fabric you can wrap these straps so many different ways 
My favorite way to wear it is the plunging way when you put it on like this and then you wrap it around the back. It leaves an open back, which is so sexy. It's just such a good fit to this. You can decide how much boob you want to show, which is also nice. You can wrap it other ways too. You can cross it in the front so that you have some skin showing right here and then it's like a twist neck. You can wrap it around your waist. This bodysuit is so flattering. You don't have to wear anything underneath of it, which is what's so nice about it. And it's like $10, so a price you cannot beat. I've actually been wanting this set for quite some time now and I was like okay this is the perfect haul to order this for. It's basically a puffer and it's kind of showing up the way it's supposed to right now. Basically it looks like gray in person and then when you put like a flash on it it turns so bright and you basically like it will blur out everything else. I'll show you guys a picture of it so you can see but it's the perfect cropped bomber. I love the way this fits. It's got just enough like fluff in it to make this so great. And the bottoms look like this. They're more of that windbreaker style pant like I've been talking about so much throughout this haul. It's got pockets, no pockets along the sides, but just like your typical jogger. This is a really weird material because whatever it is that like when you take a flash photo with this makes it turn so bright. Like whatever that material is feels kind of funny, but super cute set. If you are a football school who like tailgates and stuff once it's colder outside, this is a cute set for that, a darty, anything like that. And if all else fails, just wear black on black. I promise you can never go wrong with it, regardless of where you're going, whether it's a theme or not. No one's really ever going to think twice if you're wearing black on black. My favorite thing to do with that is to just accessorize. First thing I grabbed is one of these like seatbelt buckle belts. We have a couple of these between my four roommates, and someone's always wearing one. A neon belt is also great if you don't have anything for neon, where someone decides to come last minute and all they have is all black. We just pop on a couple neon accessories on them, and then they're good to go. This one's super cute. I like that there's like no holes in it. So regardless of the size of your waist, this will fit. I've been wanting this belt for so long now because again, I think it would look so fire with an all black look. It's basically silver sparkly with just a regular buckle. This reminds me of something Hannah Montana would wear. I grabbed a chain belt because I've been seeing them everywhere. This would actually look cute with what I'm wearing right now. This one is just silver stars and I love this. I have literally like 50 belts from Shein and then Romway combined so I always someone's always coming in my closet to borrow a belt this is cute for everyday wear or to go out the last one I grabbed is this huge one that I think would look so cute with the cow print bodysuit I just love western belts and anything country like I said so this one's got a giant silver buckle and then it's got like silver studs along it I grabbed one pair of sunnies and they're this like red pair they're obviously like fake sunglasses you basically put them on and it makes everything look red but if you go to a football school or some school that like has red in it, these would be fun for you to like tailgate football games, basketball games, whatever. Or for the USA theme that I was talking about earlier, these are the perfect accessory. So I know I said if my look is pretty bland or I just like need something to spice it up a little bit, that hair accessories were my go-to. I have tons from Romwe. They're like my favorite place to grab them from. I got some star hair clips. I love hair clips. I used to never wear them before I got to school and now I wear them whether I'm going out to a party or honestly to class. These stars are so fun. This one's blue, pink, and then white. You can just pop one in or we like do our hair kind of fun sometimes a lot of times especially at the beginning of the year I was wearing like space buns I would do two low buns I would like have my friends like braid this part back and then put like little hair clips in a fun little hair tie something like that and then I grabbed a pack of neon scrunchies because just putting a scrunchie on your wrist or in your hair you know just for funsies I think scrunchies are cool to just dress up your look and are a cute little accessory to have if you guys want links to anything you saw today make sure to check the description bar below and my blog stylebymckens.com to see how I'm styling some of these items. I will also leave my coupon code for 10% off on the screen and in the description below. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!